I bet there's been times in your life where you're just like, everything's going really well, you, you know exactly what you want to do, exactly how to go about doing it, and you're really consistent and powerful with your actions to get there, and life feels great. And you know, if you're like me, you've probably had plenty of times in your life as well where those things aren't there. You're not exactly sure what you want to do. You're not exactly sure how to go about doing it. Or maybe you are sure about those two things, but you just can't get the energy. You can't, uh, you can't drive yourself forward on your own and you feel stuck. And this is why people work with a coach. A life coach, a career coach, uh, there's plenty of names for it. But the, the role is someone who can look at what you're up to in your life, ask you a bunch of questions to go straight to what's blocking you. Where do you want to get to? Do you even know where you want to get to? What actions are you taking now? What actions could you take? What are you doing to, to drive the energy in your body? Are you jumping out of bed in the morning like, ready to go? Or you're dragging your butt out of bed saying, oh my goodness, do I have to do this stuff all over again? And so a coach looks at your, your strategy, your tactics, your action, and helps you put together an approach, a plan, and to hold you accountable to make sure you're moving forward, to make sure you're getting what it is that you wanna get in life. And this is what I do. I coach people, and I coach people in a whole bunch of different areas. And these are areas that I myself have been on my own journeys, health and fitness, career, relationships, uh, spirituality, financial, all these areas where I've looked at my own life and that's given me the understanding of what's working and what's not so that when I coach other people, I can bring that, I can bring that knowledge of what did I do? And then I bring all of the theory and the training that I've got in terms of coaching. But let me give you an example of something recently that I'm really proud of, working with a lady, uh, she's in her 30s, she's got a couple of kids, a wonderful lady, just so much energy, but she's been stuck. She's had stuff she's been going through in her life that's got her stuck. And for a long, long time, she's been a smoker. Long, long, long time she's been a smoker. And in our second conversation, because this is how coaching works, you have, this is the way I do it, we have coaching calls, we discuss what's going on, you put into place actions each week. So on our second conversation, I said to her, okay, what are all of the things that you've been putting off doing? And she, she went through a list. She had some homework as well to go through this list. So she told me what, was, what she'd done for her homework. All these things on a list. I've been putting off this, putting off that, putting off that. And I asked her this question. Which one of those would have the biggest impact on your life if you addressed it? And she's like, well, definitely smoking, without a doubt. I, I feel so guilty every day that I smoke. My kids don't like that I smoke. I don't like that I smoke, but it's the one thing I've got in my life where I have control. So we had a conversation about, well, you can have control by saying no to smoking as well. Not just by saying, yes, I'm in control. I have power each time I smoke. You can have power by not smoking. And imagine what that will open up in your life. And for you watching right now, you might not smoke but you might have things to do with your health and fitness, things to do with your career that sucks, that you're not into. Uh, the dream of some creativity, some artistry you always want to pursue that you're putting off. So anyway, with the lady who, who we talked about smoking, she stopped smoking. This was just recently, just, just very recently, just a couple of weeks ago, we had a conversation. And for her, there was a very specific way we needed to go about doing that. You can't just say, well, are you gonna stop smoking? Good, you better stop smoking. You better do it or else. You have to be, you have to find the leverage that's gonna work for you. What's your why? What's the powerful force that you can tap into that's gonna help you uh, really, really commit to that and have it stick? I've also worked with people from a, a career standpoint that have said to me, there was a lady a couple of years ago I was working with and she was working in a financial accounting kind of area. Her parents thought that was fantastic. You know, the usual story, parents said, off you go to university, make sure you get a good job and a good career. That's what's really important to you. So she went off and did that. And a number of years into it, she was like, well, I kind of have a fine job, but I hate it. I hate going in there. I'm not, well, ah, why is this my life? And we had to go through an exploration for her. What is it that you want to do? She wasn't sure. We had to dig into it. We had to explore, had to explore. And eventually it came out. She's like, you know what? Uh, one thing that I recommend, find a bookstore. I like the, you know, the in-person bookstore. Walk around. Just see where you gravitate to. See what draws you to something. I love doing that. For me, I always get drawn towards psychology and personal development and self-help. I love that stuff. That's why I'm a coach. And for her, she was drawn to interior decorating, interior design. So we had a conversation. What would it take for you to get there? 
What do you need to do? Do you need to go back to school? Do you need to, you know, is study important? Do you just need to do it? Do you just need to chat with your friends and say, hey, I'm starting to do this. Who would like me to come into their house and, and do a little bit of uh, interior design to help you out? You know, friends were saying, yeah, that's great. Come on in, help me out. So that was a journey we had to go on for her. So for you watching this just now, thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming to my page. Thanks for checking out what it is that I'm up to. If you're thinking there's areas in my life where I could use some support, I could use some guidance, I could use some superior strategies to what I'm doing right now, then please contact me. Say hi, let me know a little bit about yourself. And it could be that we could work together. It could be a good partnership. And typically what I do is set up an introductory phone conversation or Skype conversation where we have a chat for about 30 or 45 minutes and I learn a little bit about what are you up to in your life? Where are you blocked? What are you interested in? And you can ask me questions about you know, my particular approach to coaching or my beliefs or my style. And we can see if there's a good fit. And this is a totally free and totally obligation free phone call. It's very important for us to have a chance to see if this is gonna work before diving straight into it. So I love to do that. Uh, and so, as I mentioned before, I invite you to contact me, have a chat, see if there's an opportunity for us to work together. That'd be wonderful. And as always, I'll remind you of what I believe in, which is action creates opportunity. If you're taking consistent, courageous, and considered action in your life, then opportunity will be created. Possibility will be created and things will come into your life that you didn't even expect. So thank you for watching this video, thank you for joining me, and I really hope that I can contribute to you in what you're up to in your life.